Alright everybody, welcome back to episode 7 of Space Engineers, getting off of GSO. Another observer-based spawn, which is a little annoying. Um, let's see, are we... we have 50 ammo on us right now, because I went to go mine some uranium, or some magnesium. I built us a new miner, I'm calling it the, the lemon wedge, because it kind of looks a little bit like a wedge. Pretty dumb looking, actually. Uh, the base has been fully repaired. The... Uh, main vehicle's been changed a little bit. I'm adding a upward, an upstairs section, uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a Gatling gun because we're gonna, we're gonna go take out the uh, observer base that just another one just spawned, and we're gonna go take out the uh, lookout tower while we're at it since we know this thing is combat capable now. Uh, maybe I don't give it that many. I think 14 should be good enough probably. Um, and let me check the other ones. How much ammo do you have? Three. Okay. It might shoot up this, which might suck, but that's okay. Um, it's really not, but I don't have a choice. I have to go kill it before it kills me. Um, oh, and I need to fix this block as well. I need some steel grid and some metal grids. Okay, or some steel plates and some metal grids. Um, go ahead, and it's back. That was quick. Oh, put some of these away, please. Ugh, why is it so what's so heavy in my inventory? Jeez, give me some steel grid. What? Oh, it's in the loot container. Okay, I was like, my inventory's not that heavy. Okay. Hopefully it's not shooting the ship. I don't care if it shoots the base, but it I'd really prefer it not shoot the ship. But yeah, we're gonna have to go take it as a reserve but base out. Now that we know that they're pretty like weak when you actually go and take one out. Uh, I think it, the ship should be charged. It's been on the charger for like a while at this point. Uh, oh, you're like out of ammo already. Okay. Oh man, it got one of them already! Another fleeting rival? Jesus. There's another? Wait, I'm pretty sure there's two observer bases, isn't there? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's two. Um, I'm just flying around it so that it shoots me instead of anything else. Wow, I can't believe it, it shot that turret down immediately. Damn. Okay. That is unfortunate. Is there another one? What? Okay, I was gonna say. Wait, what's it shooting? What are you... Okay. I was gonna say, damn. It's spawning them willy-nilly. That's crazy. It needs to chill out. Just give me like a second. I can't even get over there yet. Even if I were able to get over there right now or move my ship, it wouldn't get over there fast enough. I'd get attacked on the way. Just give me like two seconds, would you? God. Sheesh. I'm coming. I'm coming after you. Just wait. Just give me like five seconds. I'll be I'll be there. I'm coming over. I hear you. Alright, this one's back online. Ugh. Man, man, oh man. Okay. Apparently this thing really wants to fight me. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should be good to go. How many do we have? We have one, two, three turrets. Might be enough. I think that'll do. We really want to take it out before it starts spawning stuff. Oh my god! Why are there two assert, assert bases? This is so stupid. I'm fine with one, but two is too many, I feel like. Okay, let's... Okay, apparently I have power of nine days. Interesting. That doesn't seem right. That is not right. Hang on. Really? Okay, if you say so. Okay, game. Uh, I guess we take out this one since it was first. Um, do I have metal grids and steel plates on me? Right now, let me turn off my... Backward thrust. Oh, I just realized something. I don't have left and right because I forgot to equip left and right. This could be very bad. <laughs> it's okay. We'll find it. We'll figure out something. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's already shooting my thing up. Erg. I was so close to having a, to having it fully functional as well. We were so close. Actually, I'm gonna start backing up now because remember our, our uh, reverse is like extremely slow. Okay, so let's see. Are all the Gatling guns? They're all good, right? Okay, they all have plenty of ammo. Three is a little short, but that's okay. I think it'll I think it'll survive. Um, I also want to go ahead and turn the ship. 
because I don't want to be shot immediately. Um, because I think that's what's going to happen. If I do, just let it shoot me. Um, although I don't know if it's going to help. What? That one? Is there another bit? I might start deleting these. Like, one is fine, but I think two is too many at that point. Like, okay, game, you need to chill. Uh, I think one of them just ran out of ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and try and refill it really quick. What's up, buddy? Oh, no, you didn't run out of ammo, but I will give you the ammo that I have, because I have a bunch on me right now. I'm actually, it might be a good idea if I stay out of the cockpit. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm not exactly ready. This is very last minute. I'm not ready to do this, but I don't have any other real way of like fighting this base right now, so I have to do this. How do we have 10 days of power? It doesn't seem right at all. It really doesn't seem right. All right, so the observer base is over there. God, these things are annoying as hell. They don't attack you until they make... Or they don't show up on the radar until they start attacking you. In which case, they... Uh, I'm kind of going to work for it just this way. As soon as we get in range, I'm going to jump out of the cockpit. And hopefully it shoots me instead. Because... Oh, well, that might be a bad idea, though. Oh my god, it's spawning so many! Stop! Okay, let's turn off. Turn on backward thrust. We do want to be in range. Alright, I kind of want to run away here because I don't want it to shoot me or I do want it to shoot me rather hey start shooting are gatling turrets not at 800 meters oh okay that's not a good thing I should have set them to 800 they could have started shooting already all right we should be okay I'm gonna go ahead and just start flying around yeah that's right shoot at me shoot at me not the other thing. Oh, what? I'm out of I'm out of hydrogen. Really, game? Thanks for telling me, by the way. Why doesn't it tell you? Oh, this uh, this HUD is so annoying. Why does it tell you when you're out of hydrogen? It doesn't help me. What am I supposed to do? Puff some hydrogen into my body? Into my body? Like, come on. That's so incredibly annoying. They need to change that. It needs to tell you before you run out of hydrogen. Not like, oh, by the way, uh, we noticed you're falling. If you didn't realize, you're out of hydrogen. You might want to fix that. Like, ah, Why? I'm not dumb. I know. I know these things. It's obvious. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a complete idiot. I know that I'm out of hydrogen. Obviously. Okay, disassemble like 20 blocks and see how far. How, can we get enough iron to at least assemble one? Ah, uh, come on. Wait. Cancel. Stop, stop. You need to stop. Okay, assemble. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Uh, I need to get ice while this is going. God damn it. Why the... F uh, why did it do that? Why doesn't it tell you that you're out of hydrogen before you run out of hydrogen? I may actually pick up the UI HUD thing because that... That for... That alone, that HUD mod that people were talking about or I've seen sounds incredibly useful. I'm so tired of the game not telling me that I'm out of hydrogen. It's just ridiculous. Like, why? You need to tell me before I run out of hydrogen, not after, or not during, not while I'm falling. Literally, while I was falling, it was like, ain't too critical. Urgh. Why? How is that supposed to help me? Ugh, I hope I don't have to reload. What was that? Because if I lose the vehicle, I'm going to have to, I'm definitely reloading. Because that is kind of bull. Like, come on. I It doesn't tell you when you run out of hydrogen when it should for some reason. I don't know why. But it doesn't tell you until way later. Which doesn't make sense to me. It's very bizarre and needs to be changed. It really should be edited. Did it... Did it shoot me or what? What happened? Okay, so the base is down. That's a good sign. Now, where the heck is my ship? Like I said, if it crashed, I'm going to reload. Because I don't think that's fair. I think it's fair to reload because the game didn't tell me I was low O2. And then... It, uh, it's so lame. Come on, game. It's so lame of you. You're really just going to tell me I'm low on O2 as I'm falling? It's so lame. That needs to be. They really need to change that. 
And then it's also telling me my fuel is low, but I'm full fuel. This game's fuel indicator needs to be edited heavily. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, where is my ship? Where did it go? It should be nearby. I don't think it's too shot up, I would imagine. I don't see it. I should have put a beacon on it. Oh. Err, where is it? Like, you could say it's my fault, but I don't think I would agree. And the game doesn't tell me. I'm on 102 and puts the O2 indicator in the top, in the bottom left corner and makes it super tiny. It's a little annoying when I run out of O2 for like seemingly no reason and I'm like, oh, I'm falling. I may have to reload. Uh, where is my ship? Where did it go? I don't see it. Did I rename the, the thing at least? Large grid. Banana MK2. Okay, large grid. I don't see it at all. It still says it's there, so it's it's somewhere. Is there a way to teleport to grids that you know of? Because I would totally be down to teleport. Oh, we spawn a fueling station as well. Ah, oh, this is getting worse by the minute. This is getting worse. Oh, I'm actually so mad that it didn't tell me that I was low on O2 until I was falling. It's the most useless indicator I think I have ever seen in my entire life. Is the base at least dead yet? Can I at least go into it and not die? Alright, it looks like I'm fine to go in. Uh, wait. Is that a battery? No. I want to see what's in here. Is there anything else in here? Uh, okay. We're out. Bye-bye. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I found it. Okay. Maybe we don't have to reload. I don't want to reload, but I will if my ship is lost. Just because I'm fine if it gets shot down. Like, that's fine, but it's not getting shot down. That was just... It... It... it I ran out of O2. I jumped out of the ship to make it not shoot me, or to make it shoot me instead of the ship so my cockpit was still intact so that I could stop it. Because that's the problem. If the cockpit breaks, I'm screwed. Okay, it is It is intact. My baby. This is literally my baby. What? I almost didn't stop. Jesus. Oh, I have to... It's, uh, it's still moving. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. Okay, we're fine. Okay, I need to get out. Is I need to draw a fire away from it so it doesn't shoot the. the okay. Oh, God! Freaking Jesus! This is the most tense episode of Space Engineers yet! Alright, we still have one left. No, we still have two turrets left. I should have built more. I didn't have time, though. I had to be really quick. Now we have a, a refueling station. I don't think the refueling station is gonna mess with us, though. It doesn't seem like it cares. Uh, how much ammo do we have left? They should be good, yeah. I, I, I did put a lot in, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, you can stop firing now. You're probably fine. Uh, okay, do we have motors on board to repair? Oh, heck yes we do. Perfect. Um, well, actually, I don't know if the motors is the only thing wrong with it. I don't know. Oh, shit. Did anything else get shot at? Or is it just... I think it's coming from the outside. Yeah, it looks like it's from the outside. Okay. Grab the motors. Let's head out. And I'm going to try and repair the other turret. Oh, this is so tense. Oh. Okay, I need 10 computers. Do we have 10 computers anywhere? I'd really prefer to have three turrets. I really should have made more, but I didn't have time to get the turrets ready. I don't really have time for it. Uh, do I have my backward thrust on? Okay, turn that off. I want to be going to it while I'm doing this mechanic, uh, this work. Uh, we do not have computers. I might have to break something then. I guess we can go at it with two. We can definitely outlast it, but like, I don't want to take it to take too many. Because remember, this is supposed to be my rocket to leave. But every time I get close to getting it, well, no, that's not true, actually. We're still okay. Shit, I turned off my weapons. I really shouldn't have done that. No, damn it! Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, that's really not good. Do I have anything to fix it? Computers, construction... Ah, oh. oh, they always go for the freaking thing immediately. It sucks. I wish they didn't go for the stupid... They always go for it. Every time, they always go for it. Okay, actually, hang on. I have an access panel. I can turn on the backward thrust. Um, let's see. Backward thrust. 
on. Okay, backward thrust is now on, so we should be slowly stopping. All right, let's... Oh, shit, I can't... Damn it, I can't change the direction it's going either. Okay, it should be fine, though. I think we'll be fine. Um, I'm going to stay with it until it stops, because if it stops, I think we can still be airborne for a little bit, and I can come, ba come back. It says 13 days. I don't know if that's true. Five kilowatt? Is that really true? Is it really saying that we're going to be live for days? I don't know if that's true. That doesn't seem right. 13 days, and they're already halfway through? I think it's lying to me. I think those calculations are definitely wrong. That does not seem right. Shoot, none of them shot. Did they all get broken? No, they're all still available. I don't know why we didn't shoot it at all. But we are going to stop until and wait until it comes to a complete stop. Shit, it's not going to come to a complete stop anyway. Alright, in which direction is it heading? Is it heading this way? Let's see, where are we going? Okay, I'm going to fly out this way and make a waypoint. And by the time the waypoint's set up, it should be okay. I'm going to set this up. And I'm going to grab the components to rebuild it. Well, um, let's see. So we need 100 computers and 4 displays. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, baby. I'll save you. Don't worry about it. It's Everything's fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. okay, we need to fly over this reserve base. And of course, it's going to spawn a fucking drone. It's going to spawn three drones! What the fuck? Okay, it's fine. The base has ammo. So we should be okay. As long as we just get away. Quick enough. God, this is so tense. There's so many things. It spawned a, a lookout tower. We got a transport courier. We got a, a fleeting rival on our ass. We got an observer. Oh, God. I hate these assert bases. They're so annoying. They spawn so many drones. Okay, go, 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 go. I need another jet. I need a better jetpack, man. Also, my O2 is... Or my H2 is fine. Okay, 84%. We can still get back. Uh, uh. Man, they built two observer bases in a second. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. I was not ready for it. I was fine with like one, but not two. I think two might be a like overkill. Or a despawn. Uh, okay. So I need a hundred computers. Let me look up computers really quick. If I can actually type in. in my nervousness. I can't, so I need like 80 computers. Nope, that's not what I need. I need like 80 computers, and then I need, um, do I have any displays? I do. Okay. So as soon as these are done, and also I need to find ammo, because I need to make sure that these things don't run out of ammo while they're shooting, because they are going to if we don't. Alright, so, let's see. We're out of iron, are you serious? Ryan, why now? Alright, disassemble, not the computers, disassemble these. Then I will tell the other one to make the computers. Um, I need, like, what, 60 computers? Or 80, something like that. Alright, make all the computers. Damn it, that one did have iron. They just don't share for some reason. Why are they like that? They need to change... It's really annoying the way the assemblers work. They don't share things for some reason. Okay, you can stop disassembling that. You can start making these computers. And as soon as I get back, we can start... Oh, I really forgot to add backward thrust as well. Um, while I'm here, I also need to make some ammo if we can. Uh, looks like we do have the materials for it, maybe. No, disassembling. Assembly. We have the magnesium powder. Do it. Maybe. How much magnesium do we have? Um, there's 7.6 there. 4.69 there. Right, I'm gonna put all the magnesium in this one. Really quick. Okay, so we don't have a lot, but we have some. Jesus, man, this thing just spawns so much shit. It's super annoying. All right, drop some of the things. That's weird. I don't know why I was being weird. Uh, I think it was Undertaker number two that was the one. Oh, this is so stressful. Oh my god, this is supposed to be a relaxing game. These stupid assert stations are not making it relaxing at all. They're making it horrible, but also weirdly enjoyable. <sighs> Alright, we need to go over this way, because... Oh my god, really? Right now? Ah, uh, I was gonna make a nice video about... Alright, guys, let's fix the issue of... Or, like, alright, guys, we fixed the, the issue of, of low power handling really quick. I just want to check what this rock has. So, oh, okay, I don't care. <laughs> I'm saying how, like, stressful it is, and then I go check out a rock, but... When I could have done something else, but... 
Oh, is that another filling station as well? No, 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 that's the same one. Thirsty stuff is fine. Um, as long as I don't get shot, that's all I care about. Damn, it went far as well. I mean, I can add thrusters in it as well. That's not an issue either, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, how much H2 do I have? Since you know the game is not going to tell me. I'm going to be falling and the game's going to be like, by the way, uh, you might want to refill your H2 canisters in case you were wondering. You know what I mean? Like, that might be that might be something you want to look into. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying. But yeah, I may actually install that mod that adds that, because that seems like it might be incredibly useful um, to have something like that. Uh, what? I don't have enough computers. What? I thought I brought a hundred. Did I not bring enough? Oh my god, what is wrong with me? How did I not bring enough computers? Why did I do... Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Oh god, why am I like this? Why didn't I get enough computers? How did I not get enough computers? I could have sworn I brought enough. What is wrong with me? What are you doing? How did I not bring enough computers? Oh, this is computers. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. I don't care. Drop it. Do I have any water on me so I don't die? Although, actually, you don't die from thirst anyway, but... It would be nice to stop seeing death indications on my screen. It would be very nice. Uh, okay, turn around. We're going this way. Back to the observer base. Oh my god. Okay, you can stop firing now. Don't waste ammo. We only have so much of it. It says we have 12 days of power. It is not... That is not accurate. There's no way. If the game... See, I'm tempted to say that also if... The game is telling me I have 12 days of power. I really don't believe it. Because that doesn't make any sense. Even though we have three batteries. One of them is already down to two. This one's down to two. They're already all down to two. So the fact that it's telling me that I have that much charge seems like a lie. And if it is a lie and I suddenly fall, I'm definitely reloading because I don't think that's fair. If the power readout is telling me I have 12 days and then all of a sudden I don't have 12 days, I feel like it's fair to be like, actually, I'm going to reload because that is a little cheap for the game to be like, oh, you have this much power. But actually, just kidding, you don't. We lied. Okay, go, go, go. All right, we're going to be in range of the base soon. I am going to back up, let my thing, my, my machine do its thing of destroying the base, hopefully. Hey, why is that one not shooting? Why is only one of them shooting? Why are only one of them shooting? What's, what about the other ones? They don't have, they still have ammo, surely. They still have ammo, why are you not shooting? What? Oh my god. Ah, oh, freaking Jesus. Okay, it's still firing. We only have one, but that's all we need, I guess. Do I have my, my gun on me at all? No, I do not. Okay, I would say it's high time. That doesn't even make sense, though. Is this the one that says it's incomplete? Okay, that one's fixed. Okay, I think it's fine now. Freaking thirst. This is not the time right now. This is literally the worst time you could possibly have this happen to you. Ugh, I'm so screwed. I'm gonna die. Alright, I may as well die in here. I'm gonna respawn. It'll be quicker if I die like this. Oh, I should have dropped a GPS. Ugh, fuck. I don't have bottles either. Hopefully I have enough room for bottles. Enough iron. God, why did I have to run? Why is everything going badly? What is happening right now? Why is it like this? Oh my god. Everything is going wrong. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong, and I genuinely am upset. Okay, I need a bunch of computers. Give me a, a million of your finest computers, good sir. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. I would take your, your finest computers. They don't even have to be your fine. Just give me a computer right now. I need a computer. Okay, go ahead and grab this iron. Deposit it into this one. Since as we all know, for some reason, this game is super stingy when it comes to sharing its resources. Our super, stupid freaking assemblers. I don't know why, but the assemblers, they hate each other. They don't want to share anything. It's super, super weird. I don't understand it. Maybe I need to enable cooperative mode. I have no idea. They're super, super weird. Maybe I disable it. Maybe that's what it is. 
Maybe I should disable plot for a minute. I have no idea. They're super weird, and I don't know why they're like this. And apparently now this one's trying to make them, and it won't share the iron. What's happening? Okay, as soon as we get to 100 computers, we're going to go back. Uh, I think I also need displays as well. I really should have built a more secure cockpit, but I didn't have time. I didn't really have time. I had to go as soon as I could. I didn't really have time to do that. I did not have time to build a secure cockpit. I had to be very quick. I think now, though, the observer bases are gone. There was two. We took out two. They should be gone. Um, so that should be fine. They should both be eliminated at this point. So I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm worried now just about saving my vehicle. I don't care about these bases anymore. They're not spawning things anymore. Not really much of a worry, but... Um, I do worry about the... Man, I'm glad I got ammo as well. I am worried about my ship flying off into the distance because I did not put left and right thrusters. Oh, why don't I just bring the materials to bring left and right thruster? That would be a much easier solution. Uh, okay, it should be around here somewhere. Probably this way, maybe? My body location's over there, actually. So that's another... Can I make another... I'm gonna make a GPS and say enemy just so that I know that the base is there because I do want to try and get stuff from it at least. Get some spoils. See if there's anything in it. There probably isn't, but you never know. There might be something. Alright. I think, I think for the most part the conflict is over. The biggest thing now is getting the ship to land safely. If we can get the ship to land safely then we should be okay. Also, I need to put a beacon on it as soon as possible because if I can find a room for one even, I need to put a beacon in, well, I could probably find room. There's probably plenty of room for a beacon actually. Um, it's not that big, it's only two by two um, or one by two. Um, beautiful sunset or sunrise rather, I guess. Uh, I think, nope, that's a dust, that's a speck of dust on my screen. It's like, oh, I saw the ship and nope, it's dust. None of this would have happened, by the way, if the game had warned me my O2 was low and I hadn't jumped out and died. I would have been to stay able to stay in and probably change the location of the ship and we would have been fine. But no. The game had to be like, oh. Ah, shit. Yeah, this is a reload, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's reload to save. No, do not save. I said if the ship got crashed, I was going to reload it because I think that's fair, right? I feel like it's fair to reload it because I died due to a... Due to the fact that I didn't have... I think this one actually might be good enough. Uh, I died due to the fact that I did not have hydrogen and the game did not tell. Oh, that makes me so mad. I hate when games do that. I, I hate when survival games have a resource you need to survive and then they put that resource, like the meter for it, in like a corner and they shrink it down to like the minimum, minimum, smallest size they can possibly get. It's infuriating. I mean, even Overwatch does it with like its health. Most For most games, it's health. They'll have the health and it'll be like this big and it'll be like bottom right of the screen. And like, sometimes you'll like do a thing and it'll like mostly fade away. And it's like, how am I supposed to know how much health I have if it's on the bottom right of the screen, it's super tiny and it fades half the time. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really annoying. And this is, this is that because if you run with H2 and you're in the air or you're planning to get somewhere with H2, which you almost always are in this game because it's so essential to get anywhere, then you really need to give the player a better indicator of like how much H2 is remaining. It seems weird that they, like, don't. You know what I mean? It seems very weird that they don't. I don't understand what the indicator, or why the indicator is so bad. I really wouldn't think it would be that bad. Like, it makes, it would make a lot more sense if they did the indication the way the modded hub does. Because that makes sense. You put up a, a blinking H sign. Even if, e e even a nice indicator would just be, oh, you're on your last bottle. Or actually, they could just improve it entirely and show you the percentages of your bottle. Because what can happen is you can have a bottle that's like 4% full, be like, have like 20 H2 like I have right now. And then all of a sudden, your bottle will fill it up, but it'll only fill up like 20%. 
And then you're like, oh, I, re I didn't realize my bottle was at 4%. I thought I had another 100% remaining or more. And then all of a sudden you fall because you're like, oh yeah, I was expecting to have more in the tank because I wasn't expecting to only have 4%, right? Like, you know what I mean? I wasn't, ex I didn't know my bottle was at 4%. I don't check my inventory or maybe I do, but I'm not paying attention. There needs to be an indicator of like how much percent the bottles have. Like what, I mean, what you could even do is just have a, you know, a, a slash through the bottle or like have the bottle be like, you know, one half of it's like darker and half of it's lighter to show that it's, you know, half full or something like that. That would be a good ind indicator, but I don't think that just telling the player nothing about how full their bottle is, is a good idea. I think it's a very bad idea. Actually, we may have to go further back. I just realized. Yeah, we're gonna have to go further back. This is exactly where we're. But like, it's it needs to tell you more about how full your bottle is. That is the next like big. It's like my most requested feature now, because that is so annoying. Dying because, dying because you run out of H two has to be the most frustrating thing that you can die to. Like if I get shot, fair enough. Okay, I can dodge bullets. I can you know stay out of line of sight. That's my fault. But if I die because I had not, I didn't have enough H2 and I didn't know that I didn't have H2 left, that is super annoying. It's still partially my fault, but the game could really help you out by just being like, oh, let's give you a good indicator of how much H2 you actually have and not just a really mediocre one that doesn't tell you a lot. Hmm. This has just been a rant video on why they need to improve the HUD indicator for H2. There's a mod for it, which I'm probably going to get after this episode because that is frustrating. That is so frustrating. That's so incredibly frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. The fact that I had to, the fact that I jumped out and ran out of O2 immediately is, is just ridiculous. It should not be a thing. That should not be a thing. There needs to be a better indicator of how much H2. I mean, you could even revamp it and just show the percentages of bottles instead. I don't know, something else, something needs to change about that though, for sure. You need to, that needs to be changed, 100%. There's no reason that it should be like that at all. Very odd decision that they made it like that. I don't know why, but they did. For some reason, I don't know why. Really strange decision in my opinion, but last they did it. Okay, so we're going over this way. So let me go ahead and pop this down. All right, so we are also going to grab materials to make some thrusters as well, since I realize that's probably a good idea. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm of the opinion that that needs to be changed. Absolutely. Fix that, Keen, please. For the love of God, fix your UI. It's a good UI otherwise, but it needs to be um, edited for sure. Like there should not be a, um, there should not be an issue knowing how much hydrogen you have when it's such an, an, an essential part of this game like you need to have hydrogen in this game there is no like getting around without hydrogen like you're making trips like this constantly in the game like 24 7 and if you don't have hydrogen you can't make these trips you can't even really play the game how it's meant to be played like trying to go back and forth without hydrogen like would not be fun like it wouldn't even be like a fun challenge like if you had no hydrogen you were like all right no hydrogen challenge like i don't even think that would be fun i think that would just be annoying <laughs> you know what i mean like i think it'd be I mean, like, Splitzy's doing a challenge where he has, like, max H2, or max gravity, so he can't use his, his uh, jetpack, which is kind of different, I guess, because you do have to have the issue of, like, you can also fall off, whereas, like, normally you can't, whereas I think max O2 would be different. I think it would just be annoying. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials to make some atmospheric thrusters so that we have left and right so that we can stop, hopefully. Um, what do we need there? I think we have tubes. I really wish it would automatically let you put stuff away. I know we have tubes, but I don't know if we have... I'm pretty sure we have motors. We have that. Um, I don't think we have construction computers. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to take that many. I'm pretty sure we have construction computers. How much? What does atmospheric clusters actually take? They take... Metal grids. I know we need metal grids for sure. We have motors, but I think metal grids is something we definitely need. So let me grab the metal grids. Now how many do we actually need for, for it? We need 10 metal grids. Okay, so we only need 20 metal grids. Because I don't want to take it any more than I have to because I'm limited on my inventory space that I have right now. So we get 20 metal grids. Because they're not going to shoot our engines. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's see, 10 metal grids. 
or 20 metal grids, 16 large steel tube. So let me grab another steel tubes. Um, let me put like six away, I think. How many do I need? 16? Actually, wait, no. I do need that many. Ugh, it's blowing all my shit up. Or... It's super annoying. Why are you like this? Uh, okay, and then we need to add in some steel plates. We need 35 of those. I'll grab 100, it should be enough. And then motors, we have plenty of. Construction computers, we have 100 or 200 of. Um, we also want to grab 100 computers again so that we have. And this is the most intense episode I think we've done yet. This is a crazy episode. This is a wild, wild episode. Um, we want to grab 100 computers while we're at it so that we have enough to repair the seat. Oh, boy, I hate this. These stupid assert things are so annoying. Come on, hurry up. I'm glad I made all that. I got the magnesium because I, along the way, I realized like I was really low on magnesium and I couldn't make a lot of ammo. We were almost out, so I decided it's probably a good idea to go get some magnesium in case they do attack again. I'm going to need to get some magnesium to make ammo. Otherwise, we're going to run out, and that's going to suck. And I was smart to do that because that was the, that was the case. Um, I think I refilled all the, and I put guns on the thing. Oh man, they're so annoying as well, because they like, it feels like they knew that like the ship wasn't battle ready yet. In the future, I'll have to make sure that the banana bunch is always ready to fight, because there's no reason it shouldn't be, because if it's not ready to fight and I get attacked, I'm fucked. And that was the case in this one. It, I wasn't ready to fight and I got attacked. And I wasn't ready for it. We also spawned a fueling station again. It's still there. Cool. I can just skirt around this without it spawning anything, so I have time to at least get some... If I, if I, as long as I have time to get some... Um, if I can just have some time to get some thrusters on so that I can stop it, that would be nice, because I don't have to worry about it <laughs> drifting off into one direction anymore. That's the most annoying thing, is that I forgot to add thrusters because I removed the ones on the top to make room for the stuff that I was going to build. And then, of course, as soon as I did that, the observer base decided to attack. Of course, as soon as I did that, no later, no earlier, as soon as I did that, immediately. Um, and I auto onto it. Oh, it stopped. Perfectly stopped. Okay. Um, all right, perfect. Let's get to work here, figure out where to place these things. Probably here, fine. Hopefully we have motors as well, because if we don't have motors, well, GG's. It sucks to suck, I guess. Okay, it is slightly moving still. Oh, I forgot the four displays. Fuck, I can probably get that from somewhere. I can get that from you. Um, also, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and add some... Ah, shit, we're gonna fall, aren't we? We're definitely gonna fall. Apparently this one got shot out. What? Okay. Three minutes? Fuck, it glitched out. I don't know where we were getting all our power from then. Um, I don't have motors? I thought I had motors on this. What? I could have sworn I had motors with me. Well, fuck. We don't have motors. Let's go ahead and land it then. I don't really have time for this. We're gonna have to land. I don't have power. Shit, I might have taken it too fast. Shit, 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 shit. No, fuck. I may have to reload again. Yeah, that's another reload. God damn it. Fuck this stupid assert shit. I might uninstall this. This is getting incredibly frustrating at this point. Like, uh, no, it's mostly my- I can't be mad at the mod, it's mostly me. I really shouldn't have deleted left and right engines and then sent it out. I really should have remembered, and I really shouldn't have gone out without the displays. Uh, and then I shouldn't have assumed I had motors. That was dumb of me as well. It was just dumb. It was really dumb of me. I wish it didn't take so long to load. Why is this game so slow? <sighs> All right, deep breaths. Deep breaths, in prayer. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. As soon as it loads, any day. Hurry up, game, please. This is so stressful. Please load. Please load. Brrr. 
I hope people don't see this as cheating. I don't really think it's cheating because I sort of see it as like a, um, it's, it's like save points in a normal game. Like if you play a, in a game that's like an action adventure, you're like trying to, um, you're like trying to go through and like play. Oh, is this the, um, is this the save where it was like almost day? Is it almost day right now? No. Okay. We might have time then. I was say if it's almost day, then we're screwed because that was when it was like crashed into the wall or whatever. All right, and we also need four displays, so grab those as well. I almost forgot about those displays again. But I did not. We're good. Um, we're going to have to ignore the... I will take as many motors as I can, I guess, for now, but I'm going to have to ignore the... Um... Are we in time or are we going to... Is it going to crash? No, I think we're okay. God, fuck these assert people. But yeah, I can't be mad at my... I can't be mad at the mod. I have to be mad at myself because... It's not the mod, it's just me. I really should have had my ship prepared and ready at this point. I don't know why I decided to repair the base first and not the ship because, yeah, it was a really, it was a really dumb idea. I really should have had the base repaired or the ship repaired because that was way more important than repairing anything else because if the ship was repaired and fully functioning right now, we wouldn't have this issue. I really should have, I should have prioritized that instead of fixing the base because the base, you know, can be fixed anytime, but this needed to be done immediately so that it, that I could take out any bases that show up, because then the base gets more screwed uh, and more taken down. The fueling station might actually have some uh, reactors, though, because it's a fueling station, so you'd think it would. We still have one gun left, or two guns left, so we're okay, and we're fine on that. Um, and we might be able to fix the guns anyway. But we do still want to take it down if we can. All right, so let's go ahead and fix the displays. Or fix the flight seat. I'm gonna fix it all the way so it doesn't just get shot immediately and we die. Hopefully. Um, do we have any plates on us actually? Because we could probably like at least put up some like light. Right, let's see. I do I have any metal grids in here? Cause like I definitely could get. Not really enough to do anything with, no. Okay, um, alright, it's fine. We're fine. Let's go ahead and... We're actually nearing the observer, so what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the ship this way, okay? I'm going to jump out. I'm gonna draw the fire of the fleeting rival because I don't want it to shoot the freaking cockpit. Every time, it shoots the freaking cockpit. Hey, shoot me, loser. Oh, I turned off the fucking... No, I didn't. Yeah, shoot that. Shoot that instead. Not me. Or not, 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 not my ship, please. Or my cockpit. Thanks. I'd appreciate it if you would shoot the cockpit. Or shoot the thing, not me. Or shoot me, not it. Hey, shoot at me. Shoot at me. Yeah, that's right. Shoot at me. Uh, okay, my ship is not shooting at it. It's not shooting back. Or is it? No, it is. It is shooting back. Okay, I think it's down. I think it's down. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and land this thing then. Yeah, okay. You can stop shooting now. You did your job. I appreciate it. You did very good. Nice you, nice you. Okay, we want to be very careful because our we don't have, like... I keep forgetting how big and bulky and slow and clumsy this ship really is because I keep on thinking, like, oh, it's fine. But it really is. Like, this ship is so incredibly slow and bulky and, like, just generally not... Like, very unwieldy. Like, it's very unwieldy. Surprisingly, they don't go for the engines much. And since we're not in PvP, because if you're in PvP, I think someone would shoot the engines immediately, and then we would go down, like, pretty damn quick. Um, although, I don't know, because they are large, so they might be kind of hard to destroy. Um, I don't know. I genuinely do not know. But what I do know is that we are going to go ahead and land here. Oh, shit. Fuck, that might not be good. Can we, um, really quickly land ourselves? No, 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 no. Okay, lock the landing gears. No oh, shit. Might be, that might not be good. Okay, uh, that might be a problem. <laughs> that may be a problem. Houston, we may have a problem. This might be bad. Possibly. Be very bad, in fact. Fuck, what do we do? What do we do in this scenario? We just build, like, a cradle and try to, like... 
I made it worse than I thought. It was, it was fine originally, but it was way worse. Well, I'm trying to think. What, what level of thrust do we need to get in the direction we want to go? The drones are finally down, by the way. So, conflict has passed. We survived, barely, kind of, sort of, maybe, a little bit. It's kind of awkward. I don't know. I'm not really sure what we're going to do in this scenario. The only thing I can think of is probably to move this engine up here and have it thrust that way. That's the only thing I can think of. And maybe we go get another driver skip. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and mark this. I want to see if we can get out of this. Um, we're going to mark this with ship. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, you know what? We could actually get a hydrogen thruster as well. That might be another thing. I'm going to go ahead and explore it and see if we can find anything. Not shooting at me. Good. Let me check and see if you have any more interior turrets before I go ahead and attack you. Yeah, yeah, access denied. Go screw yourself, buddy. Access denied? I just hacked it. What do you mean access denied? Shouldn't be access denied. Um, let's see. Gatling turret 2. Observer and Okay, so there's definitely still like stuff in it. Um Okay. Let's start drilling. Let's see what we got. Alright, we got something in there, I guess, whatever that is. Go ahead and heck up this antenna. And the ship is finally stable. God. Oh, man. Oh. What a fucking conflict, man. Jesus. I wish that I had more time to do episodes, but... Or I do, I have plenty of time, but I mean, like... This episode might have to end soon. I don't have a lot of time left. To, uh, do this. We're thirsty again? Er. Next time, I already know what we're doing. We're absolutely getting advanced farming and, like, food so that I'm not constantly thirsty and hungry. Because that's part of the reason why, is because I don't think this stuff is very, like, saturated. And that we're not getting a lot from it, I don't think. I'm not really sure where the other Gatling gun is. It says there's another one, but I don't see it. Maybe it's... There's actually a survival kit. That's interesting. I don't... Where is this other Gatling gun that it's talking about? We can go ahead and peek around here. I don't see a Gatling gun. Maybe it's just a debate. I don't even see an interior turret in here. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Huh, weird. I, um, I genuinely don't know what it's talking about. There's definitely no Gatling gun here. Not that I can see. Oh yeah, what's in here actually? Anything? No? Damn, nothing in here. It says there's a Gatling gun, a survival kit, a mining protector. Oh, shit. Okay, so the assert bases might be the ones that have... Okay. Yeah, I don't know what, what it's talking about. I don't see any interior turrets. What are you talking about? What interior turrets? Is there like a basement or something that I don't know about? I'm really tempted to go in and delve in, but I don't know if I really want to. Like, kind of terrified of going into this thing at all. I kind of just want to leave it alone and just leave forever. Yeah, I... Nah, I'm not... I'm not falling for it. I feel like there's something underneath it, for sure. But... I, If I were to guess... Possibly... This base has an underneath, because maybe it's supposed to spawn in space, and so it actually goes much further down. Or maybe it's just designed with this intent of you having to drill down. I could also see that. But regardless, I'm not fucking with it, because I don't really want to get destroyed. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do with you? Oh, fuck. I don't have any water on me as well. I drink the wastewater on me? No, I guess I can't. It'd be kind of 
hot if I could, I guess. Alrighty, well, I guess that's gonna do with today's episode. I'm gonna leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Me just... Hang on. I gotta turn off the crosshair. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Uh, that is not the end record button. That is the screenshot button. Let's end the recording now. Peace for real. See ya.